Oh, this is priceless. I'm going to show you a local news report from Australia about a candidate for the One Nation Party. Now, what you need to know about the One Nation Party is that they are the far right of Australia. They are the equivalent of the Tea Party here in the U.S. So this woman is being called the Sarah Palin of Australia. Listen to the multiple hilarious things she says. Let's listen. Stephanie Bannister is a migrant, an alleged criminal. Hello, Stephanie Bannister. Hello. And at 27, One Nation's poster girl for young voters in Rankin. I don't oppose Islam as a country, um, but I do feel that their laws should not be welcome here in Australia. The religion is at the centre of her political beliefs. The mother of two from Kingston wants halal food banned. Less than 2% of um, Australians follow haram or the Quran, as the Islamic text is known. Kosher food for Jewish Australians is fine. Um, Jews aren't under Haram, they have their own religion which um, follows Jesus Christ. Judaism rejects Jesus Christ. Just like Islam, it has its own dietary law and food certification. They don't have a tax on it, they've just got a, a certain way of making it where Haram has a tax on the food. Kosher has a fee too. NDIS, where do you stand on that? Do you want the National Disability Scheme? Um, I believe that the disability um, scheme is working at the moment. It doesn't start until 2016. I like to see the government drop its five-star budget down to an economy budget. With the way the economy is going at the moment, I don't see why the government feels that it should remain at a five-star budget when economy is just as good. The candidate is facing criminal charges accused of plastering anti-Muslim stickers like halal food funds terrorism on Nestle products at a supermarket in Logan. The Electoral Commission will decide if Mrs Bannister can run. Candidates are disqualified if they've been convicted or about to be sentenced to jail. I loved every second of that. I loved every second of that. And I'm calling it. I think she's dumber than Sarah Palin. I do. I think she might be dumber than Louis Gomer. <laughs> All right, now let's not get too, too far off base here. Louis Gomer's probably dumber. Uh, anyway, so you heard her right. She said, I don't oppose Islam as a country, but I do feel that their laws should not be welcome here in Australia. Only one problem there, princess. Islam is not a country. How do you not know that? Now, remember, this isn't The Onion. This isn't some sort of, you know, prank or whatever the case is. No, no, no. She's a real person running for office, supported by the One Nation Party. I knew Islam wasn't a country. I think I knew it when I was a fetus. You don't know that? And you're an adult? Oh, and she has kids, too. Oh, how bad do you feel for those kids, man? Oh, protective services, whatever it is in Australia, CPS here, whatever it is there. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's get to work. Uh, and she said, oh, Jews. Yeah, the Jews are fine because they, uh, they follow Jesus Christ. If there is one thing that is the defining characteristic of Judaism, it's that they don't follow Jesus Christ. They got the Old Testament, the Torah, and they don't go with the New Testament, which is the Jesus part. Oh, but I'm talking about testaments. Does she know anything about testaments? Oh, she doesn't know any uh, testaments. She'd be like, oh, crikey. <laughs> That's my attempt at an Australian accent. Oh, cheers. The... <laughs> Why can't I get through without using the typical terms? Uh, testament? I thought that that was the part of the body with the scrotum and the penis. The testaments, right? The, the little testaments. <laughs> no, sweetheart, those are testicles. Come on, let's get with it here. <laughs> so, uh, it, and then I love how she... They throw her softballs. The entire interview, they're throwing her softballs. And they're asking about, look, I, I got to be fair. I didn't know about those policies that they're bringing it up. But those are relatively well-known, you know, uh, issues in Australia. And they're like, oh, you know, how do you, what do you think of this uh, program in particular, this one here? And she's like, oh, I like it. That program's actually going pretty well. 
Immediately the announcer is like, that program doesn't kick in until 2016. Oh, how embarrassing are you? And she, what, you want to ban food you don't like? Like, all right, the rest of it is fun and whatever, you're just an idiot who's not going to win anyway. But then when you get into, I want to ban food. Okay, who bans food? Even if somebody's a dictator of a country and they get to call all the shots, here's what they wouldn't do. Ban food. Why? Because, what, do they want there to be an uprising against them and for them to get toppled? That's only, like, the least popular thing any politician under any circumstances could do. And who... So what? People who aren't uh, Muslims can't have that food? Of course they can. I've had that type of food before. What are you talking about? And isn't she calling it by the wrong name? Isn't she calling it haram or something? Haram doesn't mean what she thinks it means, right? Isn't it halal she's talking about? I... <laughs> monumentally embarrassing and I love all you guys in Australia man don't you dare vote for those far-right parties they're looking even dumber than our tea party over here